Hello! I'm always saying the same when I start a new video, right? Welcome to a new What I Eat In A Day video. Not a week passed, just went away, flew away into all eternity and it's been so long since I did the last What I Eat In A Day video and I'm addicted so I have to make a new one. This time I will try not to talk so much. Okay, should we try it? <laughs> right. We tried. I already had one liter, approximately one liter of warm water. Now having the rest of my water and then I will make a green juice. I have, of course, a bunch of um, greens. <clears throat> this is baby spinach, a little bit of arugula and really a little amount of parsley. Then half of a little baby lemon that I still had in the fridge. Half a cucumber two stalks of celery and two apples and if you're interested this is my fruit stash it's still ripening up some bananas here lots of avocados oranges red beet kiwi some light cheese some persimmon apples my dates and of course the greens and everything is in the fridge so okay this too much talking again, Jessica. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's do this here. Oh, this is my compost bowl. In case you're interested. No. And this is the finished product, my green juice. And I drink it directly out of the container with the bamboo straw. Oh my god, so edgy. Oh, oh, Jesus. Nearly nearly dropped the green juice. So, this is what I'm having. Surprise, surprise. Got some oranges, but I also got some blood oranges inside here. That's the red one here. And I topped it up with some dates and flax seeds. Two teaspoons of flax seeds. I'm gonna enjoy this now. And look at some of my favorite YouTuber videos. Oh yeah, let's consume something. And now I'm snacking on some walnuts and some more dates. Okay, now I have to talk a little bit, I'm sorry, but um, since I'm pretty open to all of you guys, you know, I'm trying this raw thing, sometimes I have some steamed veggies, la 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 la. But yeah, maybe some raw vegans of you see that and maybe you can help me, I mean, it's not really working for me. I have this um, sore, uh oh, you see. <clears throat> so corners of the mouth, it's like, what is it called? Angular chalitis? chalitis? And yes, it's getting worse, then it's going good for like two days and then it's breaking out again, so... And I never had that before. Never had that before and it came three weeks after I went raw, so has to do something with with this. Yeah, what what can I change? Really, um, you see the stuff that I eat, right? I will show you today, it will be a very typical food day, so, right? You can analyze everything. I'm including all the sprouts, I'm including seeds, nuts, even more than before. I used to be more like on the 10% fat thing, now I have 15 or more, which is great, I feel great. My, my skin is really good, the skin is really good except of this, <laughs> Jesus. I have this, I have the sprouts, I have this, I have lots of greens, I have green juices, I have lots of veggies, not only fruits, high variety, eat from the rainbow. Maybe some of you have some suggestions for me. Otherwise, I will just I will just go back. Eat my oats, eat my potatoes. Potatoes never gave me angolage, chilitis, whatever it's called. Yeah, and just for your information, I'm not hating on the raw vegan diet somehow. Somehow I think people have to explain themselves nowadays. Not hating on that, there are a lot of people that thrive on this and I think I'm just doing something wrong because I'm um, not used to it, so maybe you have suggestions. I'm loving it, I'm feeling good on it. Um, in the winter, of course, here it's a little bit more difficult than in Thailand, of course, but I think for just experimenting it's totally fine. If not, whole food, plant-based. It's my all time to go, so we will be fine. Not worrying about anything at all. 
And now I had a small piece of this raw vegan chocolate with another date. Because this is really not very sweet. And when you eat it with a date, it's delicious. I don't buy raw chocolates, but I always get them as a present. So then I eat them. Of course, chocolate. Damn it. So I'm about to go to the city and I'm not really hungry yet, but I know I will be on the road for two hours or so. So I will be hungry. So I'm eating something now. Is this intuitively? I have no idea. Here is my smoothie. It has bananas, small bananas, one persimmon, two teaspoons of this barley grass juice powder that I love. It tastes really good. It's good for your teeth, good for your hair, good for your nails, oh, for everything. And a dash of vanilla powder and, yeah, water. Warm water. I like to drink my smoothies warm, like my water. And yes, a lot of people find that gross, I guess. But uh, it was also when I used to drink alcohol. I really like room temperature warm beer. I, I just did not find it appealing when it's coming out of the fridge. A lot of people were grossed out by that too. And I can't help it, but I'm choking my smoothies down like a crazy person. Raise your hand if you also choke your smoothies down. Choking the smoothie down, spin! Choke it, choke it! Woo! <laughs> oh my god. I should get a job. I just came home and I'm now snacking on some mandarins. They're not really good. Okay. I already will prepare dinner. Got my salad here. Yeah, salad. Oh, it's so boring. No, it's not. It's really not. I will show you how I prepare the salad. It's really exciting, actually. Super exciting. Wait for the finished product. So, I made myself another juice. I already drank a lot from this. It's beetroot carrot apple juice, my favorite. I prepared my salad, which is this one. And I put a little bit of the pulp of the rest from the juice inside it has romaine letters um some i think it's alfalfa sprouts i have some lemon juice that you cannot see and some avocado so i got rest of the other avocados so i think i got half avocado inside a small one and now so i got some raw sauerkraut so this is not pasteurized and I um, put a little bit of this agave syrup inside to sweeten it up a little bit. So I will put that in a salad. And then I will also have some herbal salt. Just a little bit. That will be my, my dinner or maybe also my pre-dinner. I'm meeting some friends later and I think we will also go and have... Some dinner, maybe, and yeah, maybe I will have a small salad there or something and just take some avocado and lemon juice with me. And, oh yeah, I had four mandarins, or maybe five, something about that. I have also this uh, soft tomatoes, dried tomatoes, and um, for a change I don't have so much salt, so I will just chop some up, maybe two or three pieces and put it in a salad as well. It was so good. Sauerkraut in a salad is just a bomb. The bomb, guys, the bomb. So I forgot to film the rest. I just had, yeah, this small salad and three oranges. We were sitting in a restaurant and the others had beer and I had three oranges. So I hope you liked that video. I try to keep it shorter in the future, okay? Um, it's just like this raw thing and I really want to discuss it. Maybe I'll make another video about that. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Place your comments down below. And subscribe if you don't already have. And i see you in my next video. Take it, take it, one more chance. Take it, one more chance.